Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to do an ELDX penetration and expansion test. The cartridge we're using today is a 308 Winchester with a very reduced load with the 178 grain ELDX. The reason behind me having a reduced load is to simulate a 300 Winchester mag with the same bullet at 700 yards. Hornady claims that this bullet will expand and penetrate really well at longer distances, so I figured 700 is far enough. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Before I show you the results, I just want to show you the hypothetical numbers with the 300 Winchester mag. So the ballistic coefficient G1 is 0.552, the bullet weighs 178 grain ELDX, and when you hand load it, you could get up to 3100 feet per second. Looking at the ballistic data for the 300 wind mag, you'd have to go all the way out to 700 yards before you hit 2,000 feet per second. And that's what I want to simulate today with the 308 Winchester. I loaded the 308 Winchester with 35 grains of Varget, which the Hornady book says I should be getting 2,100 feet per second. And so I want to at least be far enough away from my target that the bullet should be going around 2,000 feet per second to simulate the 300 wind mag at 700 yards. Here's the setup. I just want to show you real quick. I brought this piece of wood. Represent bone. So if you're hitting an animal and you hit their bone at 700 yards. But I'm curious to see if it holds together and it expands well. Let's find out. All right, we're here at the range now. I've set up my target at 75 yards. We're gonna be shooting the 178 ELDX at a very reduced load. Let's see how it penetrates and how well it expands. So here's the leftovers. The first water jug is gone, and now we're just going to check the milk cartons to see if we can find this yeah, bullet. This okay, there's our next challenge. Okay, so from best I could tell, the first shot, the, uh, the wood deflected the bullet. Unfortunately, I cannot find the bullet, so now we're just going to shoot at the jugs with no wood to represent bone. So this is just gonna be a clean pass through. We'll see how well it really does. I'm firing. Okay, it went through and stopped in the last jug, thankfully. I didn't think it would penetrate that much. Here's the jacket, so it had really good mushrooming. Unfortunately, it separated from the core. Now I gotta find the core, so we'll see if I can find it. Back from the range on my bench, and I just want to talk about the, the good things and the bad things about the ELDX performance. Uh, let's start with the good. Um, it penetrated through four jugs at that slower velocity of about 2,000 feet per second and stopped in the fifth jug. Uh, I thought it pedaled very well for going as slow as it did, going 2,000 feet per second. And so good penetration, good expansion. Now let's talk about the bad of the LDX. This is only going 2,000 feet per second and the core separated really bad still at this slower velocity so it did not hold together at all and I could not find much of the lead core other than this little piece. I did find the tip so there's that tip for the ELDX uh, but yeah it still didn't hold together well at all. One last test, let's see how the bullet did with weight retention. And let's just look at my old scale, and it's at 64, well, 
that's not good at all. So weight retention was really bad. Overall, it's a bullet I wouldn't use for hunting even at long distance. Again, I'm not someone that's going to be shooting at game at long distance either. I still don't think it's a very good hunting bullet. I know they're very accurate. A lot of people love them, but yeah, I just don't think I will ever use one.